Namaste. Uh, today, uh, yes, we were doing the topic of different parts of yoga. So, we have finished that Jnana Marga and Bhakti Marga. Today, we will be doing Karma Yoga. Okay, Karma. So, so, let us start with the word Karma. Okay, what does it mean? Okay, Kru. The word is derived from the word Kru. Kru means to do. To do something or to act. Okay. So, uh, so this is exactly the word of uh, meaning of the word karma, and this karma is appearing in Bhagavad Gita, okay, and also it's uh, this karma yoga is uh, appearing in uh, Yoga Sutra. These types of karma. Okay, in Yoga Sutra, you will learn it in the Kaivalya part, which in the last Pada, uh, you will see a different way it's given. So here, types of karma is uh, the first type is Acha Kru means to do, and Yoga means again to establish, to join through action. Through your action, you are trying to establish a connection, a relationship with the Ishwar, with the Almighty, with God. Okay, so that will be Karma Yoga. And a classic, classic example of Karma Yoga is Swami Vivekananda. All of us are aware. Okay? He always says that service to mankind is service to God. And they also say that Nar Seva, Narayan Seva, another way. Of say Nar Seva, Narayan Seva. So, so let's come to the types of karma. Okay, what are the different types of karma? Karma means action. Okay, Kru means to do, and karma means action. Okay, now action. What kind of actions we should do? Okay, we have to perform. See, we have already accepted the Vedas, Upanishad as a Paurusheya. Okay. So, that doesn't need any other Pramana. So, we have to perform those actions which are mentioned in the Vedas and the Upanishad. Okay. So, that is called Karma. And the Vedas, they just follow the law of it. Um, we, we we have seen the three, six darshanas okay in that mimamsa and vedanta in mimamsa they follow the law of karma so that this is what the law of karma says whatever is mentioned in the vedas our action should be whatever is prescribed in the vedas we have to do okay although we have the right to question but we can ask questions, we can uh, uh, ask doubts, but still you have to perform whatever is good. Okay, they did not say that you do it blindly, but the, but the fact remains is you have to do it. Now, this is a law of karma. Okay, now, here there are two things. If you follow the law of karma, properly and your actions are in line with those prescribed in the Vedas and Upanishad, you get Punya. And if you do those karmas which are not in line with the, which are not mentioned, then it is, they say it is Papa. Punya karma and Papa karma. Okay. And here if you want to come out of the cycle of birth and death, you, yeah, you not only follow the laws of karma, okay, you not only follow the laws of karma, but when you are following the law of karma, in the process itself, your avidya is removed. Then you are able to come out of the circle, cycle of this birth and death. Okay? 
So karma, do those karmas which are prescribed as per the Vedas. Okay. Now, a karma, a karma is in action. Okay. Now, here they are saying, I was just now saying, you should do those things which will which will allow you to free from the cycle of birth and death. Now, what is this inaction? Then how can you live in this world without doing any action? That will be the next question. Okay. Here the answer will be, as I just now said, okay, when you uh, when you perform certain actions which uh, are not binding you, which are which are not in bondage, which, through which you don't come into bondage. Okay, those actions are called a karma. Okay. Now, if if I am uh, breathing, breathing is also an action. Okay, but I say I surrender this breathing. I am I am breathing, but that breathing I surrender, like that. Okay, so these are called karma, a karma, okay, and vikarma. Vikarma, they are again they are wrong actions. Those actions they they can be called as papa karma. Now, do this Papa Karma, what will happen? Uh, that person goes to hell. That is what is given in the uh, Vedas. Okay? The person goes to the hellish world and he experiences all the punishment. Okay? And then he is again given a chance to improve. Likewise, even this punya karma also. You will go to the heavenly worlds. You will enjoy. But again, when that quota is over, your punya karma quota is over, you have to again come down to earth. Okay? So, this is what uh, it talks about punya karma and papa karma. Our main idea of doing karma is to come out of the cycle of um, birth and death. Okay? So we should do those kind of karma. Okay. Now, this kind of karma, the different types of karma, let us see. The first one is Sanchita Karma. The second one is Prarabdha Karma. And the third one is Agami Karma. Okay. Now, what is this Sanchita Karma? Agami Karma, right? Now, what is this Sanchita Karma? Now, this Sanchita Karma, Sanchit Karna, matlab, accumulate Karna, the word itself suggests that. Right? Now, these are the accumulated karmas we have been accumulating from the past so many births. We do not know how many births, but we have been collecting those karmas. And this Sanchita karma is a storehouse. It keeps storing all the actions. Okay. Now, how they are stored? And whichever actions which you have not got phala goes there in the back. This of Sanchita Karma. And in the next birth, you will take birth in such a way, you will get the womb of mother in such a way that some of the actions will get fructified. Now, for example, you just uh, think, think in your mind. That there is a big backpack, gunny bag. Okay. That gunny bag is full of this Sanchita Karma. Now, 
when the uh, prana leaves the body, I have also told you that there are three kinds of sharir. Sula sharir, uh, stula sharir, um, sukshma sharir and karana sharir. Okay, there are three kinds of sharir. When the prana leaves, leaves the body, what happens? That karana sharir, which is a blueprint, you can say it is a chip of a computer chip, small chip. It has got lots of information stored in that. Okay. Similarly, in this karana shari, lots of uh, uh, that karana shari along with the sukshma shari leaves the body. When the prana leaves the body, that karana shari and sukshma shari. And in that sukshma shari, you have this bag called as Sanjita Karma. And this just for explanation purpose I'm saying for you to understand. And that is filled with accumulated all karmas. And that gunny bag, backpack, we are carrying on our back from one uh, birth to another birth to another birth. Okay? We are being carrying that karma. Achha, now, how it will enter uh, the uh, womb of a mother? It will go, it will, it has already manufactured while living itself in this birth. It has been manufactured. So, it will be guided to enter the womb of that mother through which some of these actions can be fructified. Some of the phala, you can get the karma phala of some of these actions. Okay. So, remember that backpack. Sanjita karma means that backpack full of karmas. Now, prarabdha. Prarabdha means now that uh, atma has entered into the it has chosen the mother. Okay. It is that uh, atma which has chosen which womb to go. So, from now onwards we cannot blame God. Are you made a sat, a sat like that. Why this had to happen to me? Like that. Okay. So, prarabdha karma. Now, these karmas. Now, I already told you that backpack. From that backpack, two of the actions, two of the karmas are selected, which need to be fructified. That's why I told you it has entered that kind of a mother. So, those karmas which get fructified. Wo jo karma hai, jo is janam me, us karma ka fal hame chahiye, un karmo ko prarabdha karma bolte. Okay? All those actions, the selected, jo karma selected huwe hai, is janam me fructify hone ke liye, is janam me result milne ke liye, un karmo ko, Prarabdha karma aisa kehte hai. Again, just imagine one tree. Okay, imagine one tree. Us ba jo gunny bag humne uthaya hai. Us gunny bag me, you, uh, you remember a shape of a tree or us tree me kai fall lage huye hai. Okay, say like a mango tree. Achha. उस आ, उस वृक्ष में बहुत सारे फल हैं और उन फलों में से सिर्फ कुछ कुछ फल पक चुका है बाकी के फल वैसे ही कच्चा ही रह गया है तो क्या होगा जो फल पका है उसी को हम प्लक करेंगे ना वही नीचे गिरेगा ठीक है तो ठीक उसी तरह वो जो पके हुए फल है उसी को प्रारब्ध कर्म ऐसे समझ लीजिए सो यू हैव टू थिंक लाइक दैट दीस राइपेंड फ्रूट्स आर द प्रारब्ध कर्म एंड आई एम गोइंग टू गेट द फल ऑफ दोस कर्म इन दिस अच्छा जस्ट बिकॉज़ दे आर राइपेंड क्योंकि वो पक चुका है इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि सारे अच्छे-अच्छे हैं वैसा नहीं होता है 
जो पके हुए फल में से कुछ अच्छे भी होंगे और कुछ बुरे भी होंगे गंदे भी होंगे ठीक है बट द फैक्ट रिमेन्स दैट कि दे और ऑल कुछ मीठे होंगे कुछ फल खट्टे होंगे ओके सो दैट वी हैव नो से ओवर इट हमारा सिर्फ इतना है कि जो पके हुए फल है यानी पके हुए कर्म है उसका हमें इस जन्म में हम हमें उसका फल मिल रहा है तो उसी को कहते हैं प्रारब्ध आप सिर्फ ये सोचिए प्रारब्ध सी देर आर सो मेनी पीपल बट ओनली सम ऑफ यू चोस टू ज्वाइन दिस लेवल थ्री राइट सम ऑफ यू चोस वन श्रीजीत इज देर मिस्टर गोपीनाथन स्नेहल तो ओनली फ्यू हैव कम ओके सो वॉट इज दैट दैट मीन्स इट इज योर प्रारब्ध दैट यू हैव कम हियर एंड योर लर्निंग Even others could have come, no? So many people are there. They could have come, but they did not choose to come. That means it is not there in their prarabdha, right? Yeah. So only when that situation comes, when that fruit ripes at that particular time, you will get that fruit. Okay. This is prarabdha. Now the third one is agami karma. Yeah, it is. It can be called as kriya mana. It can be called as varta mana. Okay. In these karmas, what happens? Okay. Now you are experiencing the prarabdha karma. I told you those karmas which you can experience in this present life. Only those karmas have been chosen. ओके okay. अब प्रारब्ध कर्म का फल हम भोग रहे हैं ठीक है उसे भोगते भोगते हम कुछ और एक्शंस कर रहे हैं उस प्रारब्ध कर्म को हम भोग रहे हैं भोगते भोगते कुछ और एक्शंस हम कर रहे हैं ओके नाउ फॉर एग्जांपल Uh, your uh, prarabdha is you are doing this level three, okay? But to pass, they you have to give exams, correct? Now giving exam is your karma. Now it says that aga me karma, you will get the result in a short time or in a long time in the same birth. For example, you are giving the level three exam. The result will be out in one ten fifteen days, one month, whatever is the time, right? So you will be experiencing those karmas in the present life, for which you will get the result also in the same. Usi janam mein hi aapko us karma ka aapka aapko fall milega, uska result aapko milega. अगर नहीं मिला तो वॉट विल हैपन अगर नहीं मिला तो वो कहा जाएगा इट विल गो बैक टू द चित्त फ्रॉम वेर इट केम एंड वन मोर कर विल बी एडेड सो यू शुड बी वेरी केयरफुल कि ऑलरेडी वी आर हैविंग सो मेनी कर्मा जो टू एक्सपीरियंस और इसमें भी और वी शुड नॉट कीप एडिंग That is why, if you remember correctly, in the bhakti yoga, I was explaining that we should forgive, right? This agami karma, again, they are of two types. Okay, it is arabda karma, anarabda karma. Okay, now what is this arabda karma? Arabda karma. is um which the the uh, it starts sprouting immediately you will get the result immediately uh, as in uh, if you are feeling thirsty immediately you will drink water and your thirst is quenched 
राइट अब प्यास लगी तो हम क्या करते हैं तुरंत हम पानी पीते हैं और प्यास बुझ जाती है और हो गया एक्शन खत्म नाउ अनर ऑफ द कर्म नाउ हियर व्हाट हैपेंस हियर इट इज द एग्जांपल यू हैव ऑफ सपोज दो चोर होते हैं ओके दोनों वही चोरी का काम करते हैं ओके दोनों चोरी का काम करते हैं पर उसमें से एक पकड़ा जाता है और दूसरा एस्केप हो जाता है पकड़ा नहीं जाता है है ना या सो दिस इज कॉल्ड अनारब्द कर अनारब्द कर ओके इसका मतलब है उसका संचित कर्म में है पर उसको वह टाइम नहीं आया है उसके पकड़े जाने का टाइम नहीं आया है ओके नाउ लेट अस सी द लॉ ऑफ कर्म व्हाट डज इट कंटेन व्हाट आर द टेनेंट्स ओके नाउ If we do any action, okay, any action if we do, uh, any action done by the body, done by the mind, done by the buddhi, okay, body, mind, and buddhi, all the three things will amount to karma only. Now, for example, I am talking, I am giving a lecture, I am a talking. that is a karma and you are listening that is a karma and while listening itself you are thinking uh main bol rahi hu wo ek karma hai main baat kar rahi hu aap sun rahe ho wo bhi ek karma hai aur sunte sunte aap soch bhi rahe ho to wo sochna bhi ek karma hai breathing wo bhi ek karma hai ओके okay. अच्छा सोने के बाद कभी कभी आ, कोई लोग स्नोरिंग करते हैं ना क्या हम ये सोच के स्नोरिंग करते हैं मैं अभी सोने वाली हूं सोने के बाद स्नोरिंग करूंगी क्या हम ऐसे सोच के यू हैव नो इंटेंशन ऑफ स्नोरिंग पर क्या हो जाता है जब आप सो जाते हो माइंड एंड बॉडी का कनेक्शन कट जाता है ओके टू डू एनी एक्शन यू नीड अ माइंड एंड टू मैनिफेस्ट दट एक्शन यू नीड दिस बॉडी राइट या सो द स्नोरिंग यू डिड नॉट डू इट विद द इंटेंशन सो इट कैन नॉट बी कॉल्ड एज अ कर्म इफ यू डू इट विद द इंटेंशन ऑफ गेटिंग समथिंग देन इट इज अ कर्म okay now mistakes and and uh, this is intentionless one is intention the other one jo aap karte hain galtiyan karte hain par aapko pata nahi hai ki wo galti hai theek hai wo bhi usko karma mein hum add nahi kar sakte अनजाने में अनजाने में की हुई गलती उसको हम कर्म में नहीं ले सकते अभी कोई चोरी कर रहा है वो तो जानबूझ के ही कर रहा है ना वो ये तो नहीं कह सकता है मुझे पता नहीं था कि मैं चोरी कर रहा हूं वो तो नहीं कह सकता है ना सो दे शुड बी फॉर गिवन जो अनइंटेंशनली होता है उसको शुड बी फॉर गिवन Yes, and the next thing is every karma has a karma phala. For example, every breath we are inhaling, exhaling. Okay, inhaling and exhaling, right? That karma, karma phala is we are alive. Okay, that is the karma phala you can say. Okay, every karma like that has a karma phala. okay um um uh, just 
any any kind of karma it will have a whether you want or not i say oh i'm doing this but i don't want the phala aisa nahi hota hai when you come into this world every karma as i said last class the phala is a part of the karma itself which is going to happen either in the near future or in the distant future so every karma can intentionally will have a karma phal okay now results are nothing but karma in another form as i said just now while doing karma itself the process of karma phal we have started the process usko humne kya wo ek switch jaisa samjhiye na जैसे एक कर्म कर रहे हैं कोई भी एक्शन कर रहे हैं उसको हमने स्विच ऑन किया है तो तभी से ही वो कर्म फल मैन्युफैक्चर होना शुरू हो जाता है इट इज जस्ट इन अनदर फॉर्म दैट मींस द लॉ ऑफ कॉज एंड इफेक्ट इज वर्किंग हियर कर्म इज द कॉज एंड कर्म फल इज द इफेक्ट Cause and effect has started. The moment you start doing uh, karma, karma shuru karte hi shuru ho jata hai. Wo bache. So karma is the cause and the karma follows is the effect. So this is how things work in this universe. Once you understand this, this I am just telling in a very simple and layman language. Agar isko samaj me aa gaya hai, I guarantee ham log कंप्लेन करना छोड़ देंगे यू विल स्टॉप कंप्लेनिंग अगर ऐसा हम करेंगे तो ओके सो एवरी कॉज देर इज एन इफेक्ट बट इसमें लिखा नहीं है कि वेन यू विल गेट इट यू विल इन द केस ऑफ प्रार ऑफ द कर्म यू विल गेट इट थ्रू आउट दी birth okay in that throughout the birth when you will get it that you do you know me okay and in what kind in which way you will get it when you will get it and in which way you will get it okay now again you know about uh, bhishma pitama last time i think during bhakti i already said you know he was lying on a bed of arrows right yeah. yeah so the cause is he wanted it he did that karma i said thinking is also karma correct thinking is also an action karma uh, so he it was he who said that i wish to be uh, put on a bed of arrows but he did not know ki it will come at the time of the death okay so we do not know when we will get it and we do not know in which way how we are going to get that result okay that is why we say i karma karo karma phal ki chinta mat kar you might have heard this sentence everywhere na karma phal ki chinta mat kar it is because of this so it is working we hand we are not aware of it okay now when the action is done intentionless then you cannot count it as a karma at all because it's okay one minute very important shloka sa bhagavad gita karmane eva dikarasthe ma phalesu kadachanam so that, that will come shloka, afterwards ha uh, that can be correlated here yes yes no i that will come afterwards yeah okay yeah. okay what was the same see something here ha the story story yeah that story i said it's an intentionless so karma phal ka sawal hi nahi uthta hai ha yeah, karma phal ka sawal hi nahi uthta hai okay now here the intention of your karma for example you have joined this level 3 course 
with the intention of passing. Then you will come to know after passing that I can start a class or spread the knowledge of yoga. So you are doing it with intention. Okay. Um, okay. Now, let us take the example of a knife. Okay. The object is the knife. Okay. Now, a surgeon also uses a knife and a murderer. He will also use a knife. But what does a surgeon do? Surgeon is using a knife to save somebody. He is using uh, the knife. To, unless he does the surgery, the patient will not survive. Right? So, he uses a knife to save a life. Whereas, this murderer is using a knife to kill. Take away the life. Take away the life. So, here, the intention, that will be the cause. Now, that surgeon's intention is to save the life. And murderer's intention is to take away the life. Okay? So, that intention uh, is the cause. Intention of the behind which you are doing is the cause. Okay? So, this world works totally on cause and effect relationship. Okay? So, who will experience the result? The doer of that action will experience that result. Yeah. Now, for example, that murderer, say he gets caught. Okay? The police comes to know to some proof, to some evidence. He gets caught. So, he is the doer. So, Aisa to nahi ho sakta hai na that chor ka wife will come and say no no he has chori karke itna sara paisa la ke diya to mein bhi uska punishment share karti. Although she has used that money that is different but the doer the one who is a doer will experience the result. So if he gets caught only he will be jailed. Okay so that that is the cause and effect relationship. Okay. And because of some reason the murderer might escape, but once again it goes into the Sanchita Karma. He feels, oh I have won. See, uh, so many people you know, politicians they do um, this um, corruption and this, that. Uh, they are saying, oh, we don't get caught. They are thinking like that in their mind. But it doesn't happen that way. So they will get caught if not in the, this bird, in the next bird. We may not be able to see it. We will not be there to see it. But that particular soul will get that particular punishment. Okay? Now, The question is, can karma become a means to liberation? We all, that is why we are calling it as yoga. Till now we said karma, karma, karma. Now I am saying karma, yoga. It will lead to liberation. That's why we are calling it as karma yoga. Okay, what it says, chapter 5, shloka number 10. Brahmanyadhaya karmani tangam tyakva karotiya hai lipyate nasa pape na padma patram vivam basa. That means the liberation part comes here. Those who do actions, dedicate their actions to God. Okay, dedicate their actions to God. Abandoning all their attachments. With the Vairagya Bhava, they are doing the action with the Vairagya Bhava and surrendering their actions. 
Okay. Now, although they are doing actions, this is what I was trying to tell. It will not be touched by any sin. And what example they have given? Padma Patram Vimambasa. Means, how like a lotus, lotus teacher me ukta hai. So, be us lotus ko kuch nahi hota hai. Right? Keep usi taraha, yaha jo insan hai, waha actions karte huwe bhi. Huh? क्यों क्यों उसको आ, उसको मोक्ष मिलेगा क्यों मोक्ष मिलेगा क्योंकि he has dedicated his action ब्रह्मण याधा या कर्माणी कि whatever karma he does he surrenders surrenders to the god आत्मसमर्पण कर देते हैं किसी भी कर्म को okay वो फल की चिंता नहीं करते हैं उनको फल नहीं भोगना है तो दिस काइंड ऑफ कर्म इज कॉल्ड निष्काम कर्म निष्काम कर्म मींस उनको रिटर्न में कुछ नहीं चाहिए दे आर डूइंग इट जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी जस्ट लाइक स्वामी विवेकानंद ही इज डूइंग इट जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी so that is called nishkamakar okay an action which you do without any desire without any karma in your mind without any motive that is called nishkamakar okay and the famous famous shloka in 47 okay in second chapter sankhya yoga bhagavad gita second chapter sankhya yoga what is given karman yeva dikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana ma karma phala hetur bhur ma te sangostva ati karman that means what it says you have the right to perform your action to perform your duties but you are not entitled to the fruit of, what is the meaning of this you are not entitled see if you do an action you are going to get so, but in this case you are doing that action without any motive correct without any motive you just keep doing your duties you will experience the action but you will not be touched by it i hope you are able to understand the difference is sansar mein aaye hai karma karte hai uska phal hone milne wala hai par wo wah phal aapko touch nahi karega you are not touched by that phal You are just like that, ये जो फिफ्थ चैप्टर टेन में दिया है पद्म पत्र दैट लोटस इज इन दीचर ओनली कीचड़ के अंदर ही वो उगता है पर फिर भी उस लोटस को कुछ नहीं होता है वह गंदा नहीं होता है कीचड़ नहीं होता है उसके अंदर सो दैट वे सो यू शुड जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड वन सिंपल कॉन्सेप्ट कर्म फल is a part of the karma itself it will happen in future and the karma is to be done the same karma is to be done by surrendering to the lord god ishwar brahman surrendering to the brahman then you will not be touched by phal jaisa chalta hai dekhi is duniya mein aage to waise hi chalega phal aapke upar bondage nahi hai that is the only difference okay so this is that uh, karma neva dikar is hmm? so you will get uh, liberation moksha to karma yoga ke through hi milega because it depends on what is your attitude depending on your attitude you will choose the path 
Okay. There are so many people uh, who say Nar Seva, Narayan Seva. They, for them, that is the ultimate. Okay. Yeah. There are so many examples. Swami Vivekananda is one classic example. So like that, even now, there are many people who should do it. Okay. Again, this is the second chapter, 48 shloka. Okay. It's also a definition of yoga. Yoga. Yoga stak kuru karmani sangam tyaktva dhananjaya siddha siddha yo samo bhutva samatvam yogam muchyate. That means he saying. Yogastha kuru karmani, we do a karma in such a way, okay, the karma is to be done. He is also giving the method, huh? in what way if you do, you will get liberation. Okay, you do it in such a way that whether it is a siddhya or a siddhya, means success or failure, you have to treat them equal and that will happen if you will do the action, how you should do the action? With a vairagya bhav. Okay? With a vairagya bhav. Abandon the result. Abandon the result and then and that equanimity, samo, samo bhutva, that is siddhya also, asiddhya also, samo bhutva, you treat them equal. That is called yoga, samatvam yoga uchate. So you should do this karma with unattachment and or you can say with detachment. With detachment you should do the karma and if you do that then you will automatically abandon the results. Okay? Then well, then what will happen if you are abandoning the result? You will treat whether it is a success or a failure. You will treat them equally. If it's a success, okay, I will go home. If it is a failure, oh, what mistake did I do? You will go back and check. Oh, what mistake did I do? Why did I fail? Okay, fine. So put a tick mark. Oh, this is the reason I have failed. So next time I will not do this. Okay? Okay. Then, again, this is also a famous shloka and this is also uh, definition of yoga. Okay. As per Bhagavad Gita. Buddhi yukto jahati ha ube sukruta dushkrute tasmad yogaya yunjasva yoga karmasu kaushala. Now here, everywhere he is stressing that you do your action with vairagya bhav, with detachment, everywhere. How? Whether those actions, whether they are good or bad, if you work with detachment, work with detachment, then that is called Yoga karma su koshkaushalam. Yani, yoga is skill in action. If you abandon the results, you think buddhi yukto, you use your intellect and you're doing a work. So what you, so you will perform better or you will perform the best. Okay, you will perform the best and again, you are going to get the result, but you will not do. So that is a yoga karma su kaushalam. That means skill. You are doing your work skillfully. You are giving a good performance. You are giving the best results. Okay. So that is called yoga karma su kaushalam. You can say skill in action. That is also yoga and that will also lead you to 
liberation. So right now we can think us, we cannot take the names of politicians, but we can say our Modi ji is doing yoga karma su kaushalam. Yoga is still in action. They, see, they are all poly, good things we should uh, learn. Okay? Yeah. Samatvam yoga muchate. He has failed. In one or two things he has failed. But he did not get back at the, at the opponents. He did not get back. What he said? Oh, now I should not say. We will wait for the right time to give a reply. Okay? And that time, when the right time comes, we think when somebody is attacking us as though we should sit quietly. No, you should not sit quietly. Not that. But we should look at the time. We should look at the situation. And then take a call. Whether we have to defend and run away or whether we should strike back. Okay? Even by running away and saving your life also you, you are protecting yourself. No? So you should wait. No doubt you should get back at them but you should wait for the Okay? So this is Yoga Karma Su now, here also the word karma has come. This is also one definition of yoga as per Bhagavad Gita. Okay. Yuktahara viharasya yukta cheshtasya karmasu yukta svapna vibhodasya yogo bhavati yukta. That means Yukta hara viharasya. Now, yukta, many scriptures, this word yukta has come in many scriptures. Okay? Yukta, you can say, uh, one, say you can say steady, the other meaning you can say moderate, moderation. There should be moderation in everything. We say, na? Moderation, yeah. So, yuktahara viharasya, the ahara which you are taking, that should be yukta, it should be in moderation. Okay? The ahara which you shake, take should not be too much, nor it should be very less that you starve, not like that. And uh, second time, the time of your ahara, that should be fixed. Now, here ahara, another uh, meaning of ahara, is um, not only this ahara which you eat. Now what you see, that is also ahara for your soul. What you hear, listen, that is ahara for your soul. So, just because you we love gulab jamun, that doesn't mean we'll be going on eating gulab jamun, right? There's a limit to which you can uh, eat. Right? So, yukta, we should have a control over that. We should, it should be moderation. Okay? Yukta hara viharasya. Vihara. Vihara means any recreation activity. Any recreation activity. This you should suggest to the, all the students, young students. Whole day they sit in front of the laptop. Either regarding work they do this. Huh? Then moment they finish again they take the mobile and they do this. So, Yuktahara Viharasya. Vihara should be Yukta. Okay? If they say, you know, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Okay? So, jo hum Vihar karte hai, Yane ke koi uh, time pass ki activity ya koi hobby ki activity jab hum karte hai. Usse usko hum bihar kehte hai. To usme bhi yukta hona chahi hai. Usko excess nahi karna chahi For example, uh, somebody is going for music club. That, wo music unka profession nahi hai. Vaha hobby ke liye kar rahe hai. 
तो पसंद है तो पूरा दिन गाना नहीं गा सकते हैं ना उसका भी एक लिमिट होता है ओके तो रिक्रिएशन उत्ताहार विहार से वित्त चेष्ट से कर्मसु योर वित्त चेष्ट से कर्मसु योर कर्म the work which you are doing for example you are yoga teacher somebody else is an computer engineer somebody else is a journalist okay so that is their karma that is their duty their work so they should do there should be a balance in the work okay there should be some balance some people are you know so workaholic you know they bring the work home and then there also they start doing okay so it should be a balance isme balance hona chahiye apne kaam mein balance hona chahiye so time management kijiye na agar balance nahi ho raha hai you do time management you do stress management everything is you name it ab boliye wo problem uska solution bhagavad gita mein hai टाइम मैनेजमेंट कीजिए स्ट्रेस मैनेजमेंट कीजिए पर उस टाइम लिमिट के अंदर ही अपना काम कीजिए ओके देन स्वप्न इवन व्हेन यू आर स्लीपिंग इट शुड बी वेरी बैलेंस्ड एट आवर्स सेवन टू एट आवर्स स्लीप इज अ मस्ट ओके सो देर इज अ फिक्स टाइम अर्ली टू बेड अर्ली टू राइज Okay, so there should be a uh, not only that seven hours. You cannot say, "Oh, I slept at two uh, o'clock, three o'clock, so I will get up at I think eight o'clock, nine o'clock." Not like that. Okay, so there is a biological clock going on inside you. So we should go according to that. हमारे अंदर एक clock होता है biological clock. उसके हिसाब से हमें काम करना है biological clock के हिसाब से. Okay. पर वॉट टू डू आज कल ऑल दीज यंगस्टर्स दे डोंट फॉलो ऑल दैट सेवन आवर्स एट आवर्स स्लीप मीन इफ यू स्लीप एट टू ओ क्लॉक थ्री ओ क्लॉक मीन आई विल गेट अप एट एट ओ क्लॉक नाइन ओ क्लॉक लाइक दैट सो लाइक दिस मेनी श्लोक आर गिवन ओके इन डिफरेंट चैप्टर्स सो अल्टीमेटली एनी योगा वी डू फॉर लिबरेशन whether it is gyan yoga bhakti yoga everywhere we talked of liberation so similarly to karma yoga also talks of liberation if you have to do if you want to get liberation you should do nishkama karma and then karma nyeva dikaraste you have to do and you have to do yoga skill in action you should use your intellect do your action skillfully and give the best performance within the given frame of time see all of us have 24 hours so, so within that given frame of time so this was the um uh, shall i stop madam the recording yes yes please sir stop